Good day to you and how you be everybody. This is John Agosto here. Welcome to Taino Inc. Today we're going to talk about how to separate CMYK. We're going to go to Photoshop and show you the whole process. So, kill that montage. <laughs> file and we're going to open up the image that you want to work on so let's do this so this is the file here I had to vectorize that image and some of the words were distorted so what I did was I took all the whole her whole hair all black cover every um word that is said and I redid all those words so so it could come out nice and sharp so now we have the image here. What we're gonna do is convert it into a CMYK. The way you do that is you go to image mode and go to CMYK color. Click on that, press okay. Now you go to channels and you're gonna see cayenne, magenta, yellow, and black. Already on CMYK color. So the first one you're gonna work on is cayenne. When you go to Cayenne, you're gonna take it, and go Marquee Tool, and you're gonna make sure you copy the whole page, edit, copy. Now we're gonna go to File, New, make sure it's the same size as your image, and name it Cayenne. So you can know when you're printing the film, what film is that, press OK. Now you're gonna come, put it in the side. Now you're gonna come edit, and you're gonna paste. Nice paste. Now, once you paste, now it's already ready to get halftone. The way you do halftone is, you go to image, mode, and bitmap. Once you bitmap, it's gonna ask you to flatten image, okay. Make sure the output is 300, and in the bottom method used, you want it to say halftone screen press OK. Now here's the thing with frequency. The frequency is all about what measure you're using. If you're using a 160 mesh or 230 mesh or 300 mesh, you take that number of that mesh and divide it by five. Some people divide it by four. You decide what works best for you. What works best for me is dividing it by five. So once you divide it by five, I get 60. That's frequency. That will stay for the other um, rest of the colors. Now, an angle. The angle that I choose is an angle that I saw on a video that I learned. And once I got his numbers and I did it, it was all my CMYK, they come out really, really nice. So the, the, the angle for each um, color is going to be different. Like for cayenne, it's going to be 15. For magenta, it's going to be 75. For yellow, is 0. And black is 45. So that's what we're gonna do right now, do it step by step. So here we have Cayenne, the angle is 15. It's gonna ask you round or ellipse. You either use ellipse or round. I prefer round, I like round, so then I come and press okay. And now it's already a half tone color. See all the half tones there. So now you come back to your original lay, your original image. And you're gonna go to magenta, and you're gonna see. You're gonna go. You're gonna follow the same process. You're gonna go to edit, and you're gonna copy. You're gonna go to file. You're gonna say new. You're gonna make sure that it's a click on the right, and then make sure you name it. And this one is magenta. Press OK. Now you're gonna come and move it over here, and Go to edit and paste. Now we have the magenta. Now remember, once you paste, then you go to image and we're gonna half tone it by clicking on bitmap. It's gonna say, yeah, make sure it's 300, half tone, okay, 60. Now the angle changes now because we're using magenta and magenta, like I said, we're gonna use 75 for the angle. So 
Just click on 75. Keep it around, okay. And it's already half tone. Now you come back to your area, you do the same thing. Yellow is already click. Go to edit, copy, go to file, new. Make sure that it's the same size and name it. We're working on yellow. Make sure it's grayscale. Click OK. Move it here to the side. Now we're going to click on edit and we're going to paste. Now that it's paste, we're going to now have taught it by going to image mode. Image mode. Oh man, I don't know what's going on. Bitmap. Okay, 300 half tone, same process. Now we're gonna change the angle, and we said that yellow is zero, so we're gonna click on zero, keep it round. Okay, there it is. Okay, come back over here and let's finish it off with black. Now you're gonna go to edit, copy, file, new, open up a new layer and we're going to name it black black let me show it on grayscale okay now we're going to move it over here and same thing we're going to go to edit and we're going to paste once it's paste image mode we're going to have tone this black okay 300 same thing and the frequency here now for black is 45 so let's click on 45 Keep it round and okay. So there goes all your halftone colors. You got black, yellow, magenta, and cayenne. Now we're gonna go print them on the film, expose them on the screen, register them, and check out how the process go. And let's see how this baby comes out. So let's do this. Film's all printed. Check them out. And if your printer didn't tell you which, what color it is, every time it comes out, you gotta make sure, take a little marker and write it down so you can know what film color goes, black, yellow, magenta, and cayenne. Write them down. So like that, you know, when you set them up on your screen, you know what color goes in that, on that screen. That's very crucial that you make sure that that film for cayenne, you're putting that cayenne ink on that. So. Let's go to the dark room and expose these films. Oh, let's do this. is all dried up already I want to come to the light I want to show you what a half tone stencil looks like check it out real nice all the details on the money here's the first screen I'm gonna go watch the other three screens um, stay tuned to next week next week we'll set up the whole um, for the other three screens we set them on a press and I also want to talk about how to wash these half tones. It's different than the regular stencils, solid um, stencils. Half tones is a little more different. You have to um, be careful on the timing and how much water they'll take. Or else they'll get all destroyed. We're going to talk about that next week and the things that you're going to need. So if you like this video, press that like button. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. May God bless you all. Be grateful and peace out.